Hi guys, welcome back to The Phoebe Way. Hope you're doing well. Today, as you can see from the title, is about the German citizenship, the dual citizenship reform that has been passed by the German parliament being the Bundestag. What happened? Friday, 19th of January, the Bundestag approved for or approved the reform. And this is, we already talked about the benefits. The main thing is that it used to be eight years before you can naturalize, become a German citizenship, a German citizen. Now it is just five years and you have peculiar or extraordinary integration skills. Then you can um, already apply after three years. Three years used to be for the spouses of Germans, but now you can already apply if you have C1, you've done integration course and everything you can now apply for it after you've been in Germany for three years. So this is really remarkable. Now, if you're going to apply for the German citizenship, not just the years have been reduced, but you don't have to renounce your previous or your current citizenship to get a German citizenship. It's like an add-on, okay? And this is what is quite amazing for those who are yet to apply. You don't have to renounce it because I know for me, it was really hard renouncing my Ghanaian citizenship for the German citizenship. So... I'm happy for you guys. You don't have to also get a permission from your previous or your current um, country to change to the German citizenship. So that is another great thing. We don't want to talk about how long it's going to take and everything um, once you apply, because as we already talked about this in previous videos, most of the um, institutions or most of the offices that are actually processing the citizenship um, applications are overwhelmed, okay? But once you do through with that, you don't have to be dealing with Ausländer Behörde anymore. The benefits are just great. So if you are looking into it, this is your time to shine, all right? This is your time to shine. Now, let's get into details. This bill was passed or the, the draft was accepted and 643 parliamentarians were present that day. And... The ample quality on being the uh, red, gold, green, the red being SPD, green being the green party, green M, and um, yellow being FDP, they approved it. So it was 382 votes in favor of the law changing, 243 were against, and 32 and Haltungen. So 32 were like, we don't want to say whether it's yes or no. So they just stayed away but but social democrats greens and free democrats were for it it was from the spd mainly they did it so olaf Scholz and nancy pfizer big ups to you people but you know there's a saying that says know your friends but know your enemies better now, who are our enemies? Opposition parties, including the Christian Democrats and its Bavarian sister party, the CSU, the CDU and CSU, the Union, and are we surprised, AFT? Listen, I already talked about once you get a German citizenship, go and vote. Now you know who not to vote for. CDU, CSU, AFT, I am done with y'all. And when it comes to CDU and CSU, what surprised me is it was their counselor who came and said they're shopping this they're shopping this they're shopping next merkel has sold us a dream that we can't actualize literally because why is also the overwhelmed people have come in and as the behörde is understaffed so all the that that is coming in is not being worked on and now cdu csu the union is is trying to say listen one of them was even arguing that this is going to be the reform or the law that is going to have the most negative effects in germany you people are collecting my tax like i pay taxes and you're telling me what for me i already have the german citizenship what i'm excited about is that i can go back and get my Ghanaian citizenship back because i had to renounce the Ghanaian citizenship so that's what i'm excited about now let us get into when is this law going to be enforced and implemented? We have one hurdle 
because the law is supposed to go to Bundesrat. So that's like the upper chamber of the parliament. And Bundesrat is supposed to meet somewhere in February. I believe it's the 22nd of February. And some are saying that they don't have the power to stop it becoming law. If they do, we are yet to see. But that's one thing you have to keep in mind. This is something that you should keep in mind that we still have Bundesrat to go. And then let's say once that is done in February, then we have three, four months for it to become law. So we are looking at May, May, latest June. So April, May, June, it should be in force. This is what I'm thinking about at the moment. Guys, let me know what you think about how the setup was. And I wasn't surprised with AFD and what they would vote and the arguments that they made in parliament and everything. I wasn't surprised about that. But what really shocked me was CDU, CSU. <sighs> if you want to know about the advantages and why you should, they're all on the channel. A quick rundown. You and Alton Neberhoda, you'll be done. You have much more advantages when you're traveling outside Germany. You um, have more access to certain professions because not everyone can do every job in Germany, especially if you're not a citizen. There are some jobs that are for civil servants and for you to be a civil servant, you have to be a citizen, for example. So this is actually one thing that um, a lot of people do not know. And if you have the German citizenship as um, a Drittstaatler, like as a Ghanaian or somebody who is not in the EU already, you also become an EU citizen. So moving within the EU and studying within the EU is also easier. So you don't have to just get the German passports and stay in Because some people are like, Germans don't like it. Germans, eh. Get it and go to Dublin then. Or Ireland. Yeah, literally. So, because if you already lived here for some years, you don't have to go and start afresh in a different country. But you can just get your German passports and go to an English-speaking country and you will hopefully also flourish there. That is that part. And if you have any questions, guys, leave them in the comment section down below. Or you can um, send them to me at info at the .de. Right. See you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.